So another story now. After fierce debate yesterday, the Florida House passed a six-week abortion ban. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed it into law last night, replacing the previous law which banned abortion after 15 weeks. Watch. We are creating a death sentence for women, and I will not support this bill. As a physician, I find this bill to be scientifically sound. Keep your sanctimonious opinions for your own family and stay out of mine. It really is that simple. We value life or we don't. Under the new law, most abortions in Florida would be banned after just six weeks. Victims of rape, incest, and human trafficking could obtain an abortion up to 15 weeks into a pregnancy, but would have to provide evidence of those circumstances. It would also ban doctors from prescribing an abortion via telehealth and require medication for abortion be dispensed by a physician, not by mail. We should note that according to doctors, some women don't even know they're pregnant until after six weeks. So joining us now, David Chalian, CNN Political Director and the host of the CNN Political Briefing Podcast. Good morning. Thank you, sir. Obviously here to talk to us about the politics of this. The governor uh, is likely going to run for president. It's no surprise that he signed this. But is this an issue that he talks about in, in Florida in his meetings with GOP groups giving speeches? Yeah, and we should note also uh, the state Supreme Court uh, needs uh, some action here on the on the 15 week ban before this six week ban can uh, actually take effect in Florida. But to your point about Governor DeSantis, Don, um, we have seen him sort of champion a lot of the legislative work uh, he's been getting through uh, in Florida. This is something he doesn't shy away from, obviously, but it's not something that he puts front and center the way he does his battle with Disney against uh, what he thinks is woke corporate culture, the way he puts uh, the education agenda where he thinks public education in Florida is sort of run amok when it comes to the teaching of race and history and uh, gender identity, sexual orientation. So he has put other uh, battles much more front and center in his sort of pre-campaign mm -hmm. travels around the country than he has this six-week ban. I mean, just take a look. He was in Ohio campaigning yesterday. Uh, he got back to Florida. Uh, this law got signed at 11 o'clock at night or so. That's not usually when a governor would sign a law if you want to maximize mm. attention uh, here. Uh, again, I'm not suggesting in any way he shies away from it. I just think he understands that there are sort of primary politics at play and general election yeah. politics at That's play. That's a great point. I mean, it's a tightrope that he is clearly walking. I, I, I do think it's so notable because it elevates again into the spotlight the role of judges in all of this. When you look at, you mentioned this, Florida Supreme Court, DeSantis has appointed a number of even more conservative justices to that bench. And so now that court, which has traditionally protected the right to privacy in the Florida state constitution, meaning to protect the abortion rights there, may view it very differently now. Without a doubt, which is why I think, Poppy, most people think uh, this is going to go into effect, this this six-week ban uh, that DeSantis signed. I, I do want to note here uh, on the politics of this, mm -hmm. you know, a six-week ban is not um, broadly popular among Republicans. If you look a lot, uh, at a lot of the polling out there, it kind of splits Republicans. Now, it may be broadly popular with the Iowa Republican caucus going electorate or those that participate in presidential uh, primaries in some key states like South Carolina as well. But but Republicans broadly are kind of split on something like a six week ban. Overwhelmingly, it's not that popular when you talk about the American public overall. So while DeSantis clearly believes this will help with some key portion of the Republican primary base. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think he is no doubt aware that when you're talking about a general election, if he is indeed the nominee, that suburban women in places outside of Detroit or Milwaukee or Phoenix in these key battleground states, independent uh, voters, uh, this is precisely the kind of thing that can mm -hmm. make it harder for Republicans to woo those voters uh, to their side. So you think he's boxing himself in? Well, can we talk about another one of the the, uh, potential contenders, right? Ex you know, this exploratory committee that Tim Scott has um, launched. He announced that he formed this committee. That was earlier this week, but he has been really struggling to kind of define his message and his platform on abortion in, in interviews. Finally, saying this to a local reporter, this is in New Hampshire on Thursday. Watch this. I think states have to solve that problem on their own, though. 
big problem that we see today is that our Democrats want to make this a federal issue of having abortions into the third trimester. That is something that puts us in the company of China and North Korea. We cannot go there. So we have to have a federal limit on how far we can go. And that is something that we have to discuss. Yeah, so if that 20 week ban reached your desk, would you sign it? A 20 week ban, definitely. Poppy sitting here saying, no, I'm just, David, I was just pointing out that that is not the position of most Democratic lawmakers that an abortion can be until the end of a pregnancy. Just a point of fact there. Yeah. Roe versus without, Wade was without, 24, 26 weeks. Exactly. And most Democrats say, let's go back to what Roe v. Wade yeah. uh, had in place. You noticed Tim Scott's support of a 20 week ban there. His uh, fellow senator from South Carolina, Lindsey Graham, has introduced legislation for a federal national 15 week ban. He has not yet fully gotten on board with that, though he says he is uh, proudly and 100 percent pro life when he is out on the campaign trail. You're going to see throughout this Republican uh, presidential primary process, there's going to be a debate within the GOP. Uh, uh, and you can start hearing it. I mean, Tim Scott is in a slightly different place now than is Ron DeSantis. Then is Mike Pence, who told our Wolf Blitzer uh, a couple weeks ago he just would like to see abortion completely uh, banned. So it, there is going to be a debate inside the Republican Party as they court primary voters about where they want to position themselves. And then I think we'll have to see if Republican primary voters consider general yeah. election electability wow. in their thinking. And then you have Republicans who are saying that the GOP is out of step with what most Americans want. So they, you know, there's a clash within the party. Well, so the next question, then, David, has to be: Okay, then, if you, if these, if this is a policy you support, what are you going to provide in terms of uh, health care for those mothers and for the children, and what support after birth as well no becomes a question in those states. David, thanks very much. Thanks, Thank David. you, guys.